Hi there, it's Mrs. Wolfley. Welcome to Science for the Week and thank you for watching the recorded video. We're going to be talking this week about geological processes. We're going to first talk about the composition of the earth and the physical properties. So the earth has three main layers. We have the core, the mantle, and the crust. So if we break that down a little bit farther, we have the inner core and the outer core. We have the mesosphere, the asthenosphere, and the lithosphere. This is the crust, the main part that we live on. So the crust is the outermost, thinnest layer. It's the least dense, and it contains both continental and oceanic crust. The mantle, the next layer in, is hot. It's the thickest layer, and it accounts for most of the Earth's bulk. It's denser than the crust, but it's not as dense as the core. So even though it's solid, it has some large bodies of liquid rock called magma. So the core lies at the center of the Earth, and it's mostly made up of iron and nickel, and it is the densest layer. So if we break up these layers a little bit farther, the very outer layer of the crust is called the lithosphere. And it's cold, brittle, um, it's on the Earth's surface. It is this solid layer that contains the crust and a thin part of the mantle top. But it's stiff and it's rigid and it's broken up into large pieces called tectonic plates. So the next layer down is the asthenosphere. It's a little less rigid than the, the lithosphere. It's solid, but it's able to flow very slowly, which causes the plates to move around. And the mesosphere is the solid layer that accounts for the rest of the mantle. It's stronger and denser than the asthenosphere. Okay, why, we're noticing this trend, why does the Earth get denser the deeper you go into the mantle? That's going to be your, one of your questions that I want you to answer. You can send that to me in a K-mail. Why does the Earth get denser as you go deeper down into the mantle towards the core? Why does that happen? Okay, so after the, the lithosphere, stenosphere, and the mesosphere, we have the outer core and the inner core. Now, the outer core is extremely hot. It's liquid, and it's the, it's the outer portion of the Earth's core. The slow, gradual flow produces the magnetic fields that we have on the Earth. Now, the inner core, the very, very center of the Earth, is incredibly hot. It is solid and... Um, so, so those are the main layers of the Earth. So if we move back to the lithosphere, um, we're going to run into some things called tectonic plates. What are these plates? I'm sure you've heard of them. The lithosphere is divided into a dozen or more plates. The continents and the ocean floors are part of these plates. These plates move constantly but slowly on top of a layer of Earth called the asthenosphere. So as these plates move around, they push each other. They move away from each other. They slide past each other along their boundaries. So where these, where these plates meet, we have different kinds of boundaries. So if you look at the map here, you can see the different plates that are listed. Um, there's a little tiny one here that's next to the North American plate. And we're going to talk a little bit about this on Tuesday when we meet. We have the North American plate. There's the South American plate. You can see it's larger than what South America is. The Nazca plate is completely in the ocean. Um, the Pacific plate, the Australian plate, you can see that that's a lot larger than what Australia is. So the, here are some of the, the plates that um, make up the Earth's plate tectonics. So why do these plates move? Here we have these plates that we're sitting on. These plates move. We don't feel them move, but they move. Why? Why do they move? They move because of the tremendous heat that's in the center of the Earth. The rock in the asthenosphere is like taffy. It makes it allows the plate to ride on top of this hot, flowing rock. Remember, it's, it's somewhat solid, but it, it, they are allowed to move on it. 
plates move because the heat is being released from deep inside the earth. Remember we've talked about convection in the past and how warm air rises and then the cold sinks down to take its place. That's kind of what's happening here deep within our earth. So here's a little um, example of, of what it looks like. You can see the convection cells taking place here. You have the inner core, the outer core, and then the convection cells that are taking place um, for the plates of the, of the lithosphere to move around. So where these plates meet, there are different kinds of plate boundaries. And this is what we're going to talk about on Tuesday. We have a divergent boundary. Divergent boundary, the plates are moving apart. They are diverging. Convergent boundary, these plates are moving together. They are converging. They are smashing up against each other. And a transform boundary, they are slipping past one another. So these are the kind of plates that we are going to talk about. Now the next question that I have for you, and one of the questions that I want you to answer for this week, is what happens when these plates move? Can we tell? How do we even know they're moving? What happens when these plates move? I want you to send me a K-mail. You can send that to Tara Wolfley. So send me a K-mail. You can send that K-mail to Tara Wolfley. What happens when these plates move? I look forward to seeing you on Tuesday.